Dive into the world of offshore engineering marvels with our exclusive showcase of the 15 most impressive floating ocean rigs. From towering platforms to cutting-edge FVSOs, explore the future of offshore energy production in stunning detail. Don't miss out on this mesmerizing journey across the vast seas of innovation. Number 15. Chevron's Bigfoot Tension Leg Platform TLP, is an offshore drilling and production platform located in the Gulf of Mexico. Completed in 2015, it stands as one of the largest TLPs globally designed for deepwater operations. The rig's name Bigfoot refers to the significant size and stability provided by its tension leg design, allowing it to operate in harsh marine environments. It boasts advanced drilling and production capabilities, contributing to Chevron's offshore oil and gas extraction efforts in the Gulf region. Number 14. Piatero Varas P51 is a floating ocean rig operated by the Brazilian state-owned oil company Piatero Varas. It is one of the largest semi-submersible production platforms in the world, located in the Campos Basin offshore Brazil. Commissioned in 2009, P51 plays a crucial role in Brazil's offshore oil production, capable of drilling in ultra-deep waters up to 1,400 meters deep. With its advanced drilling and production capabilities, P51 significantly contributes to Piatero Barreas efforts in extracting oil and gas from the prolific pre-salt formations in the Campos Basin, bolstering Brazil's position as a major player in the global oil market. Number 13. The Perdido Spar is a remarkable floating ocean rig located in the Gulf of Mexico, operated by a consortium including Shell, Chevron, and BP. Standing at a staggering height of over 500 meters, it's one of the deepest floating platforms globally, anchored in waters reaching nearly 2,500 meters deep. Completed in 2010, the Perdido Spar hosts drilling and production facilities capable of extracting oil and gas from ultra-deepwater fields, contributing significantly to the Gulf's offshore energy production. Its innovative design and advanced technology make it a key asset in the exploration and development of hydrocarbon reserves in challenging offshore environments. Number 12. The Total Moho Nord FPSO, Floating Production, Storage, and Offloading, is a pivotal structure situated off the coast of the Republic of Congo. Operated by Total Energies, it serves as a crucial hub for oil production in the Moho Balando license area. Completed in 2015, the FPSO boasts cutting-edge technology, including processing facilities capable of handling up to 100,000 barrels of oil per day and storing over 1.5 million barrels. Its strategic location enables the efficient extraction and processing of crude oil from deepwater fields, contributing significantly to Total Energy's production portfolio in the region. Additionally, the FPSO incorporates advanced safety and environmental protection measures to ensure responsible operations in challenging offshore environments. Number 11. The Flotel Nexus platform is a state-of-the-art accommodation and service rig designed to support offshore oil and gas operations. Operated by Flotel International, this semi-submersible platform offers lodging and essential facilities for workers in remote offshore locations. Equipped with modern amenities, including living quarters, dining areas, recreation facilities, and medical services, the Flotel Nexus ensures the comfort and well-being of personnel during extended stays at sea. Its strategic positioning near drilling sites enhances operational efficiency by reducing travel time for crew members. Additionally, the platform adheres to stringent safety and environmental standards to mitigate risks and minimize its ecological footprint in offshore environments. Overall, the Flotel Nexus platform plays a crucial role in supporting offshore exploration and production activities while prioritizing the safety and welfare of its occupants. Number 10. The SBM Offshore Mero 2 FPSO is a floating production storage and offloading FPSO vessel designed for oil and gas production in deep sea environments. Owned and operated by SBM Offshore, this FPSO is specifically tailored for the Mero field, located in the Santos Basin off the coast of Brazil. Equipped with advanced processing facilities, the Mero 2 FPSO has the capacity to handle large volumes of hydrocarbons, including crude oil and natural gas, extracted from subsea wells. 
It features storage tanks for storing processed oil before offloading to shuttle tankers or pipelines for transportation to refineries. The FPSO is moored in place using a spread mooring system or turret mooring system, ensuring stability and operational reliability in harsh marine conditions. Additionally, the Mero 2 FPSO incorporates state-of-the-art safety and environmental protection measures to comply with industry regulations and safeguard marine ecosystems. Overall, the SBN Offshore Mero 2 FPSO represents a significant asset in Brazil's offshore oil and gas sector, contributing to the country's energy production and economic growth. Number 9. The Johann Sverdrup Drilling Platform is a crucial component of the Johann Sverdrup Oil Field, one of the largest offshore oil fields in the North Sea, operated by Equinor. This drilling platform plays a pivotal role in the extraction of oil and gas from the field, which is located approximately 150 kilometers west of Stavanger, Norway. The platform is designed to withstand harsh offshore conditions, including rough seas and extreme weather, while facilitating efficient drilling operations. Equipped with state-of-the-art drilling equipment and technology, the Johann Sverdrup drilling platform enables the drilling of production wells at various depths to tap into the reservoirs beneath the seabed. It operates alongside other infrastructure within the Johann Sverdrup field, including processing platforms and export pipelines to extract, process, and transport hydrocarbons to onshore facilities. The platform's construction and operation adhere to stringent safety and environmental standards to minimize risks and ensure sustainable energy production. Overall, the Johan Sverdrup drilling platform represents a cornerstone of Norway's offshore oil and gas industry, contributing significantly to the nation's energy security and economic prosperity. Number 8. The 7 SSP Floating Production Unit FPU is a unique offshore platform designed by Seven Marine ASA for oil and gas production in deep water and harsh environments. Its distinctive cylindrical shape offers enhanced stability and motion response compared to traditional semi-submersible or ship-shaped FPSOs. The FPU's hull design allows for significant deck space and storage capacity while reducing the overall weight of the structure, making it suitable for deep water fields with limited infrastructure. The 7 SSP FPU features a turret mooring system that allows it to weather vane around a fixed point, enabling efficient production and offloading operations even in rough sea conditions. Its compact design and reduced environmental footprint make it an attractive option for offshore oil and gas developments where space and environmental considerations are paramount. One of the notable projects utilizing the 7 SSP FPU technology is the 7 Piranema FPSO, deployed in the Piranema oil field offshore Brazil. This FPSO has been operating successfully since its installation in 2007, demonstrating the reliability and effectiveness of 7's innovative floating production solutions. Overall, the 7 SSP floating production unit represents a significant advancement in offshore production technology offering cost-effective and efficient solutions for developing oil and gas fields in deepwater environments around the world. Number 7. The Thunder Horse is one of the largest semi-submersible floating production units in the world, operated by BP in the Gulf of Mexico. This massive offshore platform is located approximately 150 miles southeast of New Orleans and operates in water depths of around 6,000 feet. Thunder Horse has a production capacity of around 250,000 barrels of oil per day and 200 million cubic feet of natural gas per day. The platform features a large deck space for drilling and production equipment, as well as living quarters for the crew. It is equipped with advanced drilling and processing facilities to handle the challenging conditions of deepwater oil and gas production. Thunder Horse uses a semi-submersible design to provide stability in rough seas and maintain production efficiency. Since its installation in 2005, Thunder Horse has been a key asset in BP's Gulf of Mexico operations, contributing significantly to the company's oil and gas production in the region. Despite facing operational challenges, including hurricane-related disruptions, Thunder Horse has maintained its status as a cornerstone asset in BP's offshore portfolio, demonstrating the resilience and capabilities of modern floating production technology. Number 6. The Orman Lange is a natural gas field located off the coast of Norway in the Norwegian Sea. It is one of the largest offshore gas fields in the world, discovered in 1997 by Norsk Hydro. 
The field is operated by Equinor, formerly Statoil, and production began in 2007. To extract gas from the Orman Lange field, a series of subsea wells are connected to a floating production platform called the Orman Lange A. This platform is a semi-submersible design that sits on the ocean surface and is anchored to the seabed. It houses processing facilities to separate gas from other hydrocarbons and impurities. Once the gas is processed, it is transported via pipelines to an onshore processing plant in Nehamut, Norway. From there, the gas is further processed and distributed to markets in Europe via the Langtel pipeline, which is one of the longest subsea pipelines in the world. The Orman Lange field has played a significant role in Norway's offshore oil and gas industry, contributing to the country's energy production and economy. It represents a complex engineering feat, showcasing the capabilities of modern offshore technology in extracting and delivering natural resources from challenging environments. Number 5. The Hebron Platform is a massive offshore oil production platform located off the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada, in the Genie Dark Basin of the Atlantic Ocean. Operated by ExxonMobil Canada Properties, the platform is part of the Hebron Oil Field Development Project. The Hebron Platform stands as one of the largest and most complex offshore platforms in the world. It consists of a gravity-based structure, GBS, designed to withstand harsh North Atlantic conditions, including icebergs and extreme weather. Constructed using concrete and steel, the GBS supports the topside facilities, which include drilling and production equipment, living quarters for personnel, and processing facilities. The platform has a production capacity of around 150,000 barrels of oil per day. To extract oil from the Hebron field, wells are drilled from the platform into the reservoir beneath the seabed. The extracted oil is then processed on the platform before being transferred to shuttle tankers for transport to refineries. The Hebron platform represents a significant investment in Canada's offshore oil industry and has contributed to the region's economy and energy production. It showcases advanced engineering and technology to safely and efficiently extract oil from challenging offshore environments. Number 4. Sleipnir is the world's largest semi-submersible crane vessel, owned and operated by Hirima Marine Contractors. It was built by Semcorp Marine's Jurong Shipyard in Singapore and completed in 2019. Sleipnir is designed for heavy lifting operations in deep waters and harsh environments, making it a versatile asset for offshore construction projects worldwide. This massive vessel features two revolving cranes, each capable of lifting up to 10,000 metric tons. With a maximum lifting capacity of 20,000 metric tons, Sleipnir can handle the installation of large offshore structures such as topsides, jackets, and decommissioned platforms. Sleipnir is equipped with dynamic positioning technology, allowing it to maintain position without the need for anchors. This capability enables precise positioning during lifting operations, even in challenging sea conditions. The vessel's advanced design includes dual fuel engines that can run on liquefied natural gas (LNG), reducing emissions and enhancing fuel efficiency. It also features accommodation facilities for up to 400 personnel, ensuring comfort and safety for crew members during extended offshore operations. Sleipnir's impressive capabilities and cutting-edge technology make it a key player in the offshore construction industry, supporting the development of oil and gas fields, wind farms, and other marine infrastructure projects around the globe. Number 3. The Goliat FPSO, Floating Production, Storage, and Offloading, is a significant offshore oil production facility located in the Barents Sea, operated by Eni Norge. It began production in 2016 and is situated in the Goliath oil field, approximately 85 kilometers northwest of Hammerfest, Norway. The FPSO is designed to extract crude oil from subsea wells, process it on board, and store it before offloading to shuttle tankers for transportation to refineries. It has a storage capacity of around 1 million barrels of oil. Equipped with advanced processing facilities, the Goliath FPSO can handle up to 100,000 barrels of oil per day, along with associated gas. It also features accommodations for personnel and utilities necessary for safe and efficient operations in harsh Arctic conditions. The Goliath FPSO represents a significant technological achievement, operating in challenging Arctic waters while adhering to strict environmental and safety standards. It contributes to Norway's oil production and demonstrates the industry's commitment to responsible offshore development. Number 2. 
The Prelude FLNG floating liquefied natural gas facility is the largest floating offshore structure in the world, developed by Shell. Located off the coast of Western Australia, it operates in the Prelude gas field, extracting natural gas reserves. This revolutionary facility is designed to produce, liquefy, store, and transfer LNG at sea, eliminating the need for onshore infrastructure. With a length of 488 meters, it's longer than the Empire State Building is tall, making it one of the largest vessels ever constructed. Prelude FLNG has a processing capacity of approximately 3.6 million tons of LNG per year, along with condensate and LPG production capabilities. It can withstand severe weather conditions and is equipped with safety features to protect personnel and the environment. This innovative project unlocks previously inaccessible offshore gas reserves, providing a flexible and efficient solution for LNG production and transportation to global markets. It represents a pioneering step in the evolution of offshore energy production. Number 1. Tambua Landena is a floating production storage and offloading FPSO unit operating in offshore Angola. It's strategically positioned in the Tambo Landana field, aiding in the extraction and processing of crude oil. With a storage capacity of over 2 million barrels, this FPSO plays a vital role in Angola's oil production, contributing significantly to the nation's economy. 